Namaste. Okay. I forgot to take you to Starbucks with me, but I'm still at Starbucks, so don't don't go putting a location on me. Cheers, everybody. Happy Sunday. Cappuccino. Two double shot espressos because I need to push myself to do this. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try to, uh, this is really, the sun is in my eyes over here. There's really not many places to go. I wonder if I should go over there. Yeah, placement is, it really means everything to me, so. Okay. I guess if you saw the um, thumbnail, this video is about Summer and Jose. Uh, I mentioned about Jose. It's, I would say, Jose is just, like I said in my video yesterday, in my walk and talk, that Jose is just a bleep in Summer's life. In Summer's short life. Yeah, I'm trying to go over here so that I will have a little bit of shade. It's so hard to find a tree. And that car almost went into me. Okay, move it along, brother. I'll try not to be mean. <clears throat> Just get in a weird mood. Yeah, that's better. It's a little bit shadier. Yeah, so I said, what do I have to do to get out? I was going to do this in the house yesterday. Uh, and then I just procrastinated and I just was drained. And I, because I told you I did the dowsing rods. Let me pick you up. I did the dowsing rods and I did, um, I covered up my pimple. It's still there. <laughs> I know you could see it. It's popping through. It's trying to pop through, but anyhow, doesn't matter. Summer told me I'm still pretty. Okay. And here's my hair. I didn't cut it off. Here it is. Anyway, um, <laughs> I know I'm such a weirdo, but so I'm a procrastinator. And I get nervous. Sorry, just pulling the old bra strap up. Okay, well, whatever it is. Ah, oh, God. That's with one cup of coffee with two espressos. Imagine when I start on this one. Which let's do that now. Let's let's get that going now. I got beautiful music that spreads love, love vibration. Now, you might say, why are you having all this coffee and espresso? Well, because there's a difficult thing I have to talk about for our girl Summer. And I all, after this video, I have to do Michael Vaughn even harder. <sighs> oh, that needs more sugar. Luckily, I brought my own sugar. Truvia, the non-sugar sugar. I have lips today, right? Okay. That's important to me to have lips. Okay, how's everybody doing? Did you miss me? No, I was just, I just did a walk and talk yesterday, so you couldn't have missed me too much. Anyway, I don't want my spring break to end. So, therefore, I am not going to work tomorrow, and I could take off because I'm just a sub. I do go in Thursday, but I might go in Wednesday and Thursday, or Tuesday, but definitely not tomorrow. Well, yeah, this is good. Cappuccino. Oh, a sad thing. I get, I get my card, you know, Starbucks isn't that close to my house. Um, and I wanted to tell you, Flyer B, I did not get to the post office yet. I am so sorry. I know you said you sent me something and I did not get there yet, but here's my cut. It's getting better. Even though I smashed the door on it. 
I'm telling you, vitamin E is very good. I, I have to stop putting vitamin E on it, but I take it uh, internally. <clears throat> and I know you guys want me to start, but this is my process. And now I need a little air conditioner. Yeah, so I didn't go to my post office yet. Tomorrow I'm going to put in the mail for Tammy. Um, what's the name of that? Your artwork, Ballerina. You bought Ballerina Time and for, for Alana and you bought, what's the other one's name? Angel Magic, I think. It's that one angel and she has like, she's spreading her wings and all glitter comes in front of her and I will include the story. So I'll get that, those two in the mail tomorrow. Okay, so anyhow. All right guys, so you know I went through this process yesterday. I had the house to myself. I did the dowsing rods, I did, sorry. I also had a grilled cheese sandwich and you're about to get jealous in two, three, one. Smell it, smell it. <sighs> I'm freebasing my chocolate chip cookie. I already had one. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Okay. Um, so I did the dowsing rods. I did uh, all my prayers. I did a meditation. So I'm about to read you the results of that whole reading. I will try to fill in the questions that I asked, but sometimes I might, I didn't write down all of the questions, but I'm sure as I do it, my, as I read my um, memory will come back on both cases. Okay, but I'm not going to put this case, Summer's case on the same video as Michael because they're two different children and they deserve uh, attention on their own. Okay. Before I start, I just want to do a, a new card. Got these new cards from Five Below. Look at them. I think they're called Moonlight or something. There's a book that came with it that's nice, but of course I'm not reading the book. I, don't, I didn't bring the book with me. So I'm just going to ask our angels to bless this reading all the angels and dear God and all my spirit guides to bless this reading. No mischievous um, spirits are allowed in. And I just, what should I, please give me a card for the collective, the collective energy for the people out there that are watching this. What card is good for them? They're so beautiful. Thank you, dear God. Oh, Moon and Taurus. Okay, Taurus is almost here. Um, Aries is about to start, and then um, and then Taurus. Okay, so now is ta a time for focusing on finance, finances, and partial. I'm sorry, I cannot read. <sighs> Breathe. taking away stress. It's Reiki. And these nails will get done tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, so now is a time for focusing on finances and practical matters. That's for everybody out there in the collective. Thinking about your money, how you're making your money, where you're putting your money, where you're spending your money, and what you're saving for. Ooh, dark moon. Okay. Spend time in contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you.
Yes. Okay. Spend time in con sorry, I just was went spending time in contemplation. In contemplation and meditation in order to seek greater understanding of yourself and those around you. Yeah, I was just thinking of something. Something is bothering me. I don't know the answer to it, so I'm gonna just give it to my guides to find out the answer. It's not with you guys, it's a personal thing. Okay. And the last one for the collective, before I start my reading. Moon in Aquarius. The time is ripe for celebrating life. Make the most of parties, gatherings, and social opportunities. The time is ripe for celebrating life. Okay. Thank you guys and guides. Oh, okay. So I can't procrastinate any longer. Let me just take this. All right, so I did this border as I was meditating on summer. Okay, so my main questions to start was to first get in touch with summer, which I had trouble getting at first, um, because she doesn't come to me as often as she used to, which is good because she has ascended. That means that she's ascended. Um, but I had to ask my spirit guides, just put my pillow in the back, my spirit guides, um, Ganon and Shanann, mainly because they always help me with the connection. So I felt, I finally did feel like I reached her and I hear her voice. And that's how I know um, the indication for her. And she's playful and, and she was like, you're in a different place. And I was in my kitchen and my dog was going freaking nuts. Casper, Nana, not really, cause Nana's elderly and she kind of just laid down in the corner. But, oh, Casper was nuts. Cause I never do that stuff at the kitchen table. I always go in the dining room or outside or here. So he was actually there and I was gonna move, but I didn't wanna go in the dining room for some reason. So Summer had said when she finally did come through, she was like, you're not in this same place. And then I had to tell her, oh, this is my kitchen. I know usually I'm not in the kitchen when I do the channeling. And so, um, yeah, cause she didn't, she was like, she recognizes the car. She recognizes even the pool room a little bit. Um, I did a little bit about her in the pool room, I believe, uh, but mostly it's here or the dining room. So anyhow, okay. So then um, I, sometimes I get messages like if I feel like um, the people I'm trying to contact aren't answering me right away, then I'll ask Shanann, Suzanne, mostly Gannon, even Tylee, um, to help out and CC and Bella too. Um, but Shanann is like my go-to person and uh, because she's, she's the one who told me I could do the, all this with YouTube. Uh, I am not technological at all. So it's really a miracle and with her help. Um, and then Gannon always helps me. Okay, so. At first, when I was talking to my spirit guides, my just general spirit guides, um, they said that uh, Jose looked at her, looked at Summer as a very loving, beautiful little girl. I mean, anybody who had eyes in their head would know that she's so loving and so cute and beautiful. Um, and she said about Jose, she just said, at first she was like, not sure of him. And well, let me just read it. Let me just read this. So, so Ali, Ali, um, uh, H's mother had, uh, loved her very much. Okay. Whatever said back and forth, 
um, Summer loved her and she loved her very much. Let me just take a look around, see where I am, make sure that nobody's stalking me. Okay. Oh, and by the way, I turned off on my phone. I had Devin turn it off. I turned off my locator. Okay. Because <laughs> that's never good to have on. Um, so I turned that off. Anyhow. Um, so she said, a loving girl, Allie, Allie loved her and she loved Allie and she wanted to be with Allie. That's why it, it meant so much to Allie that she, she felt so bad that she didn't get a chance to hug her when she, when Candace came home in the car with Hunter to drop Hunter off and she wanted to hug her like she always does, but she said, Candace said no, and she had all the windows up, and it was a hot day, and she said no, she's sleeping, you can't hug her, and then she, I have to go. Alice was sad about that. Sorry, it was cappuccino break. Okay, so Jose Roman. Okay, and I say I write three. I write the name three times just to get the feel. So I kept saying Jose Roman, Jose Roman, and Summer or Spirit Guides of Summer, could you tell me what, you know, is Jose Roman lying? Is he telling the truth? What kind of person was he? You know, did you like him? Was he mean to you? Was he nice to you? You know, and I wasn't getting anything, okay? Then all of a sudden, um, I start to hear her voice and it's just a sweet little voice it's inside you know I'll hear it in my head and um, and then I see her um, able to see her like I feel her presence if I don't see her visually I'll feel her presence and she said he was nice to me he was looking out for me when no one else was Katrina and then she says say and because she kept saying say, say was this, say was that. And I was like, what, say this? And then I realized she's a little girl when this happened. When she saw him, it was a whole year before she went missing. And he was not anywhere near her when she went missing for a whole year. So when he saw her, she was like three or four. So you know when people say, oh, this is Jose, a little kid, doesn't hear that and they might hear say, the last part of the name say like sometimes some kids call me Trina um, I think JJ used to call me Tina because um, they hear certain certain syllables and they don't always hear the whole thing so she calls them say all right um, she goes Katrina say tried to clean up our house a little and wanted to cook for us but I don't remember if he did okay he was a he was kind and he laughed easily Jose and now I, I asked Gannon to jump on board um, because sometimes she would go in and out and a lot of times if a lot of people are asking her questions at the same time you know she will try to answer everybody's questions she's very strong that way but it's harder I think it's harder like everybody's pulling in different directions especially since this came out anyhow um, so I asked Gatton for help and to help her to answer and I also asked um, my spirit guide Lily um, so Jose told the truth as he saw it okay this is not my words this is the words that I got Jose told the truth as he saw it about the house, about food, about animals, and kids. Also Don, Candace, and Grandis. He hated how Don treated everyone. Okay. He was correct calling out Don's narcissism. So now this is not Summer saying this. This is through my other guides because Otherwise, if it was summer, she would be using smaller words and she would be calling him say. Okay, so they're saying that he hated, Jose hated how Don treated everyone, everyone. He was correct 
Jose was correct calling out Don's narcissism and meanness. Jose was too easy on Candace. Okay, this is from the spirit guides, not me. I, I agree with them. Oh. But Jose was too easy on Candace and didn't have specific deets, specific details on dates. Like exactly when did you stay there? How long did you stay there? There wasn't like specific dates. He's saying that he was still there when Don came back, which of course he was because they had a big fight and Don ended up going to jail. When Don got out a week or two weeks later, Jose wasn't there, okay? Um, but there's, oh, at some points, he said he stayed there six months and other people say it was only one month. So we don't, who knows the truth with this, with this crew, okay? So the, the spirit guides, and I, I, they told me to say angels as well, because of course, Gannon's an angel. Tylee and JJ are angels. CC and Bella are angels. There's so many angels up there. And Summer is an angel, of course. So Jose was too easy on Candace. Think about that. Didn't have specific details on the dates. Um, G Mom was nice. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're back to summer. I'm sorry it jumps around, but that's how spirit works, and that's why I was so exhausted. Okay, and like people would think, like, why is she so exhausted? It's not like she cleaned this or that. Uh, I did make dinner, though, last night. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys, that the people who care about me, on St. Patty's Day, I cleaned that the big bathroom. I did the big job, which I have to do it like once every two weeks because it, it was just so bad and nobody else is gonna do it. Um, but I did it on St. Patty's Day, so I wanted to let you guys know. So I'm not a total loser, all right? Um, so now we're getting back to messages from Summer. Summer said, Mom, Grandma was nice to her. Cause she, she's at G Mom. G mom, you don't believe me? Okay. Um, G mom, meaning her grandma, grandma, grandis. G mom was nice to me. Mom was nice to me, but not on June fifteenth. She was not nice to me. The last day that she was around, she's saying Candace, her mother, was not nice to her on that day. But sometimes she was. She said Don, her dad, her daddy, was not nice. He was scary. And then she put something in my childhood, in my mind, and, uh, and I got very nervous and f sick, feel sick and frightened. Yeah, she said when he drank his face would get red. She goes, just like your father. Just like your father, Katrina. And and she was very scared. And she was scared for her mother and her brothers and her grandmother when that would happen. Um, now the dowsing rods. With the dowsing rods, I asked all these questions, okay? Um, and then I asked, how many times was your body moved? And she said two times. Now I had thought in the past I had seen three times, but she's just showing me two times. Okay, and because what I do is I, I say, was your body moved more than two times? And it just said no. Was your body moved one time? And it said no. I said, was your body moved two times? And it said yes. Okay, so I asked that question over and over again, like three, at least three times, just so I can get the number correct. It takes a long time. My hands start to shake, my arms hurt. I don't feel well, sometimes I cry. So I don't like to tape it. But I, I could tape it in the future if you want. I might do it. Um, but I can do what I want, how I wanna do it. This is for entertainment reasons only. 
nobody is guilty in, until proven in a court of law, and everything that I say is allegedly. And the cops don't even, I don't think the cops listen to me, or psychics in general. So, um, but this is the mission that I have, and I have to do my part, whether it's, um, you know, whether I'm wasting hours and hours of time and gas my, I don't take a penny for any of these cases. I don't take blood money, like some people. Okay, that their name, there's blood in their name. Okay, um, so police and FBI know what happened to Summer Moon Utah Wells. Summer said that to me. Okay, so I was saying, does anybody know what happened to you, what really happened to you, and where you are? And she said, Two, she held up two fingers but then she kind of looked like maybe it's more than two okay and I'll, I'll just go through it um, one second guys you just turn off the air because now it's a little bit too chilly okay so she was assuring me and she was I, I kind of spoke about this in my walk and talk that she was assuring me that Ronnie Lawson winked. He winked at me when I, I was trying to see if he was straight, if he was straight up, if he was going to do the right thing, or is he just Donnie's cousin and just going to, and you know, a lot of people are alleging that he's in some sort of ring uh, for trafficking children. I don't believe that. Okay, and you know, I'm not God. I never say that I am the all end all. Uh, as, as you could tell from my views, <laughs> nobody else is saying that either. But what I will always give you the truth as I get it, as I see it, and as I hear it, Claire Audient. Um, and my feeling on him, because I was going to do a video on him a long time ago. A lot of people asked me. Um, to do a video on him and I was this this close because I was very angry at him during a certain time of the case and I didn't feel like he was doing anything but then they showed me behind the scenes and they did show me with his feet up which uh, on the desk which is an indication for being a little bit lazy um, but then I know this is gonna sound hokey or weird but then I, they showed me tears, like the salt coming from his eyes, which means uh, he is very sad with stuff that he knows. And with the FBI and, and law enforcement, they, they have to get everything in order, okay, before clink clink, all right? So if they don't have a body, they have to get everything else. Look at Jacqueline and uh, Trezell those assholes okay that was over a year and all the other kids got taken from them and um, they didn't find sincere and classic yet I say yet because I feel like they're gonna find them um, but uh, they still got clink clink right so that's why that and that happened after like so December 21st they went missing but really they were missing three months prior and in a couple of my videos, I talked about that. So if you care about what I say and you're interested in that case, put in Mystic Brady, Sincere and Classic, or Mystic Brady, Orin and Austin West. And there's a whole bunch of videos on them. And I found the poem, but I'll do that another time. Anyway, Lawson, Ronnie Lawson. Yeah, I believe he is related to Don, but I feel in my heart he's gonna do, he is behind the scenes doing the right thing. He's just not talking about it. Um, the whole thing is every, people saying, oh, that he lied and said that they lawyered up. Um, you know what? In my mind, he tells me, I, you have to say some, 
something about a fishing thing. It's like a fishing analogy, and I am like East Coast, you know, uh, went fishing once in my lifetime, didn't like it. So he's saying a fishing analogy, like to catch a f to to catch more than one fish, you need more than one hook, something like that. I don't know if you know any fishing analogies, please tell me. But um, I'm pretty sure what he's indicating is to get all the people involved in missing in the missing case of summer moon utah wells you have to have more bait to catch more f i don't know it's some kind of analogy but meaning i felt better i felt better in my chest i felt better in my head my third eye um that yes he he's gonna do the right thing he is trying He's not, he's not like secretly, you know, trying to get Don off. Okay. Um, was there some kind of shady stuff? Yeah, there was some kind of shady stuff in the beginning because it seemed like Don was like Teflon Don. Um, and he shouldn't have been. Um, but you know what? They have to get all the ducks in the row, in the rows. So line it up, line it up, line it up. That's what I hear. Line it up. It's got to be lined up. I don't always know what the messages be, mean that I receive, and especially if people from Tennessee are very different from people from New York, in that there's a lot of different, you know, Southern phrases that I don't really understand, or I've never really heard them. So if they, if they throw that at me, um, yeah, I need a little help with that, and especially since I can't even get the whole phrase together. You, gotta, you can catch more fish. You can only catch one fish with one hook. You can catch more fish with two bait. I don't know. Now it's getting me confused. What am I going to be when I have four shots of, um, not tequila, four shots of, uh, espresso in me. Okay. Look at this beauty. You see that? Everybody, take a second and free base your cappuccino. Oh, I'd be so lucky to have one. Oh, what was sad was I started to tell you guys. When I went to Starbucks, I had Thomas's card, my son's card that he gave me. 